All right, welcome back. Here's a solution just to finish off your Ken the Street Fighter or get him closer to being finished. Let's add a few more states in there. And so right now we have kick, we have fire. I'm going to use the letter U for punching. So key press, letter U. Now it's going to be very similar to all the others we've done here. So similar, I can actually just probably copy paste. If they're currently just standing, we can switch to the punch sprite, right? Set the speed, go back to frame zero, and remember that I am now in state three, which is punching. Okay, and that one's good. When the animation ends, it'll take me back to, you know, state zero, which will bring me standing again. Okay, so that's really it for the punching. Now the crouching. The crouching's a little different. With the crouching, crouching's really just a one frame action. And if you've played most games, when you hit the key, a crouch doesn't actually just crouch and then stand back up. You usually hold the key and he stays crouched. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make it so this one keeps him crouched. So where I'm going to go is, I'm going to go back to the player. I'm going to make this the space key for a crouch. And I'll go keyboard for this one. This one, I don't want it to be a single press. I want them to have to hold the key down to stay crouched. So keyboard, space bar. Now, I only want them to crouch if they're standing. So I'll do my same thing again. If I'm currently in state zero, then I'll switch my sprite index. Now, something's wrong here. That's not turning red. S, P, R, crouch. There we go. I want to be on frame zero. And you know what? The speed of this image doesn't really matter because technically it's only one frame. So I don't even have to bother saying an image speed here if you don't want to. Now I have to go to my state. Now I'm awful with my memory here on remembering what my states were. That was fire. Three was punch. Four was crouch. Okay, so I'm in state four now. So let's put my state to four. Crouching. Now this is happening as long as the person is holding the space bar. Now without any further modification, let's see what this does. Because technically this image, you know, we'll see if it triggers anything weird in the animation end event. So there's my kick. There's my punch. There's my fire. And there's my crouch. That's nice. So I just hold it down and I'm stuck in that case there. Now some of you might have been wondering, is animation end actually taking place? Here's a quick way we can actually check if it's taking place. I can ask a quick question here. When the animation ends, I'm going to ask if the state is 4. Let's see if this code runs. Just by doing a quick little show message high. So remember what we're trying to test here. When an animation ends, if I'm in the crouching state, show the message. What do you think? 50-50 chance? So it is detecting it. So even though it's only one frame long, it's still looping the animation and running that code. So just so you know that is happening, right? We are ending up inside of here. Now, technically, technically, since this is always happening, this is always happening too. Okay, it's actually switching the sprite to standing and switching the speed and switching the index because this code is running. And then quickly the spacebar is being hit and it's putting it back. Uh, it may be considered sloppy. 
why would you go from crouching quickly to standing, quickly back to crouching when you don't have to? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to be smart with my code. And even though it does work visually, this is better programmically. Program-wise, there we go, this is much better here. If the state is not equal to 4, then I want to go to standing. So this is just giving you an idea that actually in a lot of games that do have a whole bunch of different actions for the player, you do end up starting to build up a lot of ifs and else's and conditions in here to try to control the flow. This makes much more sense here. If I'm not crouching and I just finished an animation because I'm in animation end, then I can go back to standing. But you know what? If I'm crouching, don't bother going up to standing. Now the fact that this is always running, even when they're crouching, you know, and going back, it, it seems weird and it is. We actually have to learn a couple more commands to do with the keyboard. We'd like to be able to ask if they aren't holding the space bar down, then switch their state back to standing. But we don't know those commands yet, so for now, you'll have to be happy with this. Keep in your mind, though, that it is a little bit of an inefficient chunk of code that continually runs standing, crouching, standing, crouching. Okay, but it's not bad. Beginners, right? you got to learn a piece at a time. All right, hopefully you got that on your own. Thanks for watching. In the next one, we'll be doing a quick little, uh, we'll get a tower in there that attacks the player, and if the player is crouched, then they're going to be protected from getting hurt. Okay, perfect. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.